History of a patient with hand numbness and weakness. A 52-year-old female secretary, right-handed, complaining of right hand numbness and weakness that is annoying her for the last six months. There is no history of trauma or injury. Prolonged typing makes her hand numb. Her primary care doctor gave her anti-inflammatory medication and carpal tunnel splint for the last four months. The patient did not improve. In fact, the pain awakened her at night. There is some thinner atrophy. On examination, the patient has decreased sensation on the volar aspect of the thumb and index. Patient had positive tenel sign, electric shock type sensation, which radiate to the thumb and index. Duncan compression test and maximum flexion of the wrist worsen the symptoms. In the Ferenc test, the patient maximally flex both wrists against each other and hold that position for about one minute. The diagnosis is carpal tunnel syndrome. The carpal tunnel is like a tunnel and if there is any increase in the volume in the tunnel, which can occur from inflammation or edema, then there will be pressure on the nerve that lies within the tunnel. That limits the blood flow within that segment of the nerve, leading to symptoms of nerve compression, the numbness, the parathesia. The symptoms usually arise secondary to crowding of the median nerve, which will cause local compression. X-ray is normal. In some cases where it's difficult to tell, you do nervous studies to confirm or to exclude the diagnosis. The EMG may be negative in about 15% of patients with carpal tunnel syndrome. It's false negative. EMG showing lowering of the median sensory and the motor distal latencies. The median to ulnar latencies are usually compared to rule out the possibility of a peripheral neuropathy, which can be another cause of slowing at the median nerve. So what are the signs of a median nerve compression and can the patient self-diagnose themselves Symptoms related to median nerve distribution, night pain, positive Tinel sign, positive Fallon test, positive Duncan test. If the patient present with three of these four symptoms, then carpal tunnel syndrome is probable. Treatment is usually immobilization and anti-inflammatory medication to decrease the swelling. Injection can be helpful, and if injection works, then surgery probably will succeed. If the symptoms is not resolved with conservative treatment, then surgery by carpal tunnel release is indicated. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.